Okay, so I did a little bit of practice on this new survey stop action that was um, presented to us as one of the new updates. And um, it was it was interesting. It was a little fun, I think. Um, so I did want to share that with you. So first I went into designer and I just created a real quick little database with two instruments, being able to show where we're going to install or insert this stop survey. So if they say caregiver, we're gonna end the survey. And we do that by clicking on the stop sign and selecting which response is going to stop the survey at that point in time. We can also do this in a matrix format where you can identify which response for each individual one. I tried to alternate them so we could kind of see what was going on with the different changes there and about. When you create this stop, you're gonna go into your survey design development. And here you're going to, under the options related to stop, this is where you're going to let them know that you thank them, but they're not gonna be able to complete the survey at this point in time. One of the things that I did discover with this was that you cannot do a continue forward. Even with the stop, the stop is in play. It does perform. It, it'll just go on to the next survey, even though um, you have the stop in place. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So we're going to say the caregiver, and this is what the participant sees. So they can either end the survey or return and edit the response. If they end the survey, it's going to kick them out. They're going to close. But this one has been specifically set so that you can, you don't have to collect that. That's the, um, I thought that was one of the interesting, nice things that it provides, where you're able to choose whether or not you're going to collect that data. So you can save all the responses, or if they're if the stop is triggered, you're not going to collect it. So you don't have all of this um, empty or started responses in your database. So then we're going to say we're the patient. And again, it gives us the option. So we're going to return and edit. And we're going to say yes, and we're going to submit. And it just takes you out again, because we can't continue to the to the next one. But we can go here. And we can launch the survey. And then we can see about what type of social media we like. And maybe we don't want this one. We can end the survey. Now this was a little different because this one I changed to where it would really, it would still accept it because it was the second survey in, in the display. So I said, save all the survey responses. So this was my little fun for the evening and wanted to share with you. No, it didn't take that much um, time, but um, 
I appreciate your time and I hope you have fun with it. Do you have any questions? That's awesome, Tony. No. Thanks. Oh, question? No. Oh, okay. Uh, that was great. Um, so that was a, oh, uh, Carlos has got a question for you, Tanya. You want, it's oh. in the chat. Can, no, it's only on a survey. It does not work in the data entry portion. It only works within the survey. I apologize. I should have stated that. So the question was, can the stop action be used by a data entry person? Uh, and so it's just a survey. Is that the deal, Tanya? Right. It's just a survey stop. Yeah. It is not within the server as a data entry. Right. I know I tried that too. I um, was working with someone and in their data entry, see if it would work, but it's only a survey stop. Yep. So that was a new feature that was added a few weeks ago by uh, Vanderbilt. So we wanted to make sure that because the stop action has been a bit problematic for us, because in the past, when you click on that stop sign and you you want to stop the survey, when a certain response is received, all it did was like kick you out and you know, you wouldn't know why you were kicked out or, or whatever. It just stopped the survey, which could have been useful. But right now, we are using a workaround for a situation where, you know, for vaccine uh, in, in a certain, uh, in, in for the antibody testing, we wanted to stop people from uh, filling out the, all the rest of the questionnaires if they had not had their second vaccine, if they had the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. So, you know, I didn't want to just kick them out. I wanted to give them a message. And so we had to put that on a different instrument and use form skip logic to make sure that it showed up correctly. And it, it was like sort of a pain to do, but this would be very helpful in a situation like that, where you could create your message right in the stop action and, and uh, kick them out. 